for all of you wearing a pair of glasses today, I would like to ask you one question. Why do you need your glasses? It is because you cannot see things clearly, right? The same problem goes to most astronomers. When we see the night sky, there are numerous galaxies in the night sky, but most of them are too faint and too small to be seen by our bare eyes. That's why we use telescopes. With more powerful telescopes, we could observe more galaxies. My research uses the world's biggest telescope to observe one of the most distant galaxies ever observed by human being. This telescope is very special. It is not made of ordinary materials. The telescope itself is made of stars and galaxies. The working principle behind the telescope is extremely difficult because it involves Einstein's general relativity. But after all of those differential equations in the four-dimensional space-time, here comes an elegant result, which could be easily understood even by your grandmother. <coughs> Simply, if you have an extremely massive object, like a galaxy, its gravity could bend the pathway of light. In a sense, very similar to the pair of glasses your grandmother uses every day. This is called the gravitational lensing effect. Now, suppose if we want to observe this little red galaxy here, it is originally too faint and too small to be detected by current technology. We can get the help of the gravitational lensing effect from this foreground of the galaxy to converge the light ray and magnify the image of the background red galaxy. Although the image now is a little bit distorted, but it could be restored by some calculations later. The point is, before we cannot s detect this red galaxy, but now we can detect it. This is the cosmic telescope created by nature to help us understand the universe. My research uses this technique to confirm the distance of the most distant galaxy ever observed by human using this technique, which is about 10 billion light years away from us. Because it takes light about 10 billion years to travel from this galaxy to the Earth, Therefore, what we receive is actually the image of that galaxy 10 billion years ago. Therefore, we are actually looking back in time, in the infant stage of the universe. With more observations of these kind of galaxies, we will be ultimately able to understand the origin of the universe much better. Thank you.